Mark Twain has famously said, the two most important days in your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. Like all funny statements, there is always a gem of truth in this. Lots of people have trouble identifying their why, wondering what exactly they are meant to do. So, if you do too, remember, you're not alone. This episode is to help you figure out this important question. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on! Most of us live our lives on autopilot. As it happens, we get up, go to work, deal with our bosses or with our employees, do something to make money, come back, manage our personal lives, go to bed, get up, go to work, repeat, repeat, repeat. It's a similar routine for most people, whether they are stay-at-home moms or stay-at-office people. You need a real strong why to create a successful life. And it has to be big, big enough to keep you motivated, bigger than every excuse or every fear you could possibly think of. Because when you have a big why, you gain clarity, focus and life becomes fun. Truly, life is too short for anything else and too long for something meaningless. So now we come to the big question. How do you find your why? I was watching this old movie Office Space where Lawrence asked Peter, what would you do if you had a million dollars? Peter says, Man, I would just sit on my ass all day long and do nothing. To which Lauren says, You don't need a million dollars to do that. Look at my cousin. He's broke and homeless and he does just that. And that is the point of this story. If you take money out of the picture, what would you do? Once you have the answer to that, here is a process that I have for you in my toolbox to clarify your purpose. This one is called the get up and start process and it starts with answering two simple questions. Step one, write down what would you do if money was taken off the equation? Step two, why? Why would you do it? What are your personal reasons? What problem are you solving? Why do you want to solve? Step three, what is your why nots? Now write down why you are not already doing what you say you want to be doing. Obviously, you have your reasons for why you want a successful life or a great purpose, such as providing for your family, making a difference in the world. However, if you're not as successful as you'd like to be, you most likely have some why nots standing in your way. A why not is a reason or reasons you're not getting what you want. It's usually from a place of fear. Now. I have people say that their why not is that they are lazy or that they are confused or that they procrastinate. But you are procrastinating on a project because you have doubts about the research you have done or you aren't working out to get fit because you feel you are lazy and lack consistency. But you are procrastinating on a project because you have doubts about the research you have done. Most of the times though, they come from a place of fear. Maybe you are scared your idea isn't good enough you'll be rejected or you'll fail big time. These are thoughts coming from your fear-based mind, which is just doing its job and trying to protect you. You, not your mind, are in charge of your life. So you have the power to choose what you want to believe. It's ultimately your choice whether to believe these stories or not. So how do you stop yourself from getting derailed by your why nots? One way, is to go back to your whys, which is why it is so important to write down your why and put them up somewhere easy to see. The constant reminder will keep you on track. Plus, you'll have no excuse for ignoring them. Your whys and why nots are the two critical steps to closing the gap from where you are to where you want to be. So, now it's your turn. What are some of your whys and why nots? Share with the community in the comments below so that you can inspire others. If you need personal help with how to get unstuck and create momentum towards getting everything you want in life, including more happiness, more success, more fulfillment and more life balance, reach out. Details are in the comment box below. 
share this video with your friends and family and subscribe in my next video i will also take you through the 10 reasons why most people live meaningless lives don't miss it